Working on a season's glue book today. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my Tick at the Lake. If you're new here, welcome. Always happy to have new people. If you've been around a while, thanks for stopping back by. Always good to see you. Or of hashtag using the same images. First, I'll show you what's left of the pile of images that I started with. These are the three things I could not place or did not place. You can always find room for them, but I didn't like the way they looked. <laughs> so these are the pieces that I have left over. I have a little bit of footage here of what my process was. It's not very exciting, me putting glue on pieces of magazine paper and sticking them in a composition notebook. Speaking of which, this is sort of a bonus 12 days of comp book ideas. This is a beautiful way to be able to do seasonal glue booking without having to make a new project every holiday, every season. It's all in one. So bear with me for a moment here while I share with you 12 days of composition books, bonus number one. Do a season's glue book. This is a project that Amy and I have been working on all year. And I, look, I still have room. I still have room for the digitals. I'm very excited about that. But this is a great way, especially for those who are super busy, who have way too much going on to make a new journal for Easter and make a new journal for Christmas and make a new journal for Halloween. You can do it all in one. And it doesn't have to be just glue booking as we have done here. You can certainly do junk journal style stuff or smash book style stuff or use your daily ephemera you can do all kinds of things but you can do it all in one book so we started last fall about this time last year we started this and so it starts with fall you can start whenever you are you know if you're watching this on june 12th start in the summer start in a in a june birthday if you have one or a flag day is in june start anywhere and just continue through or uh, because when you work from front to back you get this goofy angle because as you fill these pages your spine gets full here you see in the front I could go all the way to the spine when I got toward the center not so much and back here in the back half of the book I'm barely getting look how much space is wasted on these pages because it has to fold over to compensate for all the stuff that's in here. If I were to do this project again, I would I would separate it into the four seasons and start in the middle somewhere. That way you're kind of working around in the book. It really doesn't matter because once it's all full, it's all going to be... But you see how this first half came out beautifully. I imagine the second half is going to be pretty even, but but quite a bit behind this first half. Do you see how, how far back these are versus how full these are? Anyway, it's certainly doable. And in this one book, I have fall, Halloween, and I don't think we did a Thanksgiving thing, but we certainly could have. There's plenty of room. Then we go into winter and Christmas. More winter, more winter, more winter. Because <laughs> I live in Michigan. Although we didn't have much of a winter this year. Sidebar. Into spring. Easter came really early. So I put Easter right at the beginning. I did St. Patty's Day. I did Easter. And then we went into spring. Lots of spring. More Easter lots of spring and then now we're doing summer and so you can you can put it all in one book and I just think it's such a time saver and it's it's totally doable however much time you have and have a beautiful 2024 or whatever year you're doing this at the end of the project this is what I did with the cover I decided I wanted to use something of each of our harvests on the cover front and back in the front, I in the front, I just started right in the on the cover and went to gluing. I haven't done anything yet at the back. And in the very back of this one, the last page, I wrote what this project is. It's Seasons Glue Book using the hashtag hashtag using the same images, a collaboration with Amy, blah blah blah, and how we worked it. By the way, stick around to the end because I have another guess how much thing giveaway. I'll do a happy mail or two 
uh, for the winner. That'll be toward the end. I will tell you the the thing that you have to guess how many of in a little while, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to show you my little bit of process. It's not very interesting, so I, I didn't include it all because it's it's the same thing over and over again. Me pasting things down. There might be some of me looking around to figure out what what I want to go where. There may be a comment or two in there. So I'll show you that and then we'll do the summer magazine images flip through because remember there's still another part to this and we'll talk about that at the end. So my basket is empty. That's a good thing. Here's what I've done so far. The bigger pages and bigger images. These are extra large all in one pile large images all in one pile large to medium medium to small background pieces my word words and phrases things i want to put together celebrate dogs and all of the water related docs orders go jump in the lake surrounded by water etc i want to put all those together here are all my smaller pieces and things I want to probably fussy cut or use on top. I just cut up this picture. One of, we had two of these. The cover and the inside page had the same bouquet. So I cut up the cover for my cover and I'm gonna put, I hope to anyway, put Summer Dreaming here because I did manage to get the word fall, winter, and spring. I'd like to put at least summer down here, but I'd like to do summer dreaming. We'll see if it fits. But that's my first step, is to clean them all up. I used my handy dandy trimmer and just clean up those edges from being torn out of the magazine, uh, cutting off the extra words and the advertisements and whatnot. Just making sure that they're clean and then sort of seeing again what all that I have to work with and then I will start putting them together. Of course I'm going to start with the largest pieces and work my way down in layers to the smaller bits to the fussy cuts and the words I usually do last. I'm going to do some gluing today. I should have put these in the basket the other way. The smallest stuff on the bottom, biggest stuff on the top so I could just pull out pull stuff from the top of the basket, the biggest stuff, and work my way down to the tiny stuff. But I put it in backwards. So I'm gonna reorganize that because I didn't leave myself very much working space here. Next up, we have Summer Digitals. You can go, there's a short, if you wanna see that about my Summer Digitals but you can go to my Patreon page. The digitals, summer digitals are free for the taking. These are mine. And a real quick sneak peek, these are Amy's. Those are available on her Patreon page. So link is always in the description box below this video. Go to my Patreon page. The summer ones should be the first or so that come up and you can hashtag use the same images along with us because the next thing that we're going to do are work with these digital images since we know everybody cannot get the same magazines and harvest the same images that we just that we just finished thus we decided to do digital pictures for everyone totally free for the taking you don't have to be a patreon member you just have to click the link and download the summer digital PDF. It would be awesome if you were a Patreon member though. Would love to have you, free or otherwise. So go get your digitals and cut them up because that's the next thing that we're going to be playing with. Sometimes I have, I leave fussy cutting for the end because I'm never quite sure what's going to be fussy cut or not. So here what I'm doing is taking the, the smaller images here and I'm putting them underneath everything else. So this is my small stuff and my words are going to go on last. I have some of this organized in pages that I want to do. Medium. And these are kind of all pretty big. Pretty big, pretty big. So I'm going to try and just work from the basket instead of sorting through them all over and over and over again. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to put a movie on and just glue away for a little while. 
using this today just because it's pretty much all I have for glue booking. I don't use my best glues for glue booking. I was looking to see if I had more of the purple. It's a little bit cheaper than this and it's not quite as sticky. I keep debating, do I want to cut these up individually and put them all over the place or leave them intact? So I don't want to make that decision now. I'll put it off till later.
Okay, so I love, love, love all these bright, bright, bright colors. So I wanted to make sure to use that on the front. And we had two of these. It was on the cover of the magazine, which is what I used here because it's hardier. And you can see that it, there's some hangover. And I, I did that on purpose. I like the natural edge, if you will, the live edge versus just cutting it right off. I did this. This isn't part of our harvest. I did this a while ago just to have something summery there. So this is not part of our regular harvest, nor is this, but these two are from our regular harvest. So last pages of spring and we, we dive into summer. So many summer images. We had a lot of good things to work through here. This was an ad we, we decided to use and I cut apart. And I love this. Somewhere else, YouTubing means binge watching other people's adventures. And these people are tubing down a river somewhere, kayaking down a river somewhere. These are very big things in Michigan. So I'm so glad that we got those. This was a bar about Marquette, Michigan. Also a big part of life around here where boring doesn't exist. This had some miscellaneous stuff about tourism and Marquette, so I just covered it up. I love the look here. We have a lot of falls like this. We have one pretty close here by called Tequamanon Falls, and they're beautiful and local. It's a day trip to go see some waterfalls. Pretty cool. And that's what you do in summer. Goodbye routine. I love the calm greenness of this. Here's more of the chicken ad. Actually, it's an ad for Twix cookie dough candy bar, but here's the other half of it bed of roses. Sometimes I just like a page the way it is. I don't like to add a whole bunch to it. I love the weathered wood, the beautiful mix of flowers. So the only thing I added were these tabs. I have three of these from a strip of circles that we may had. There were six circles and I just made three tabs out of them just for something different. I hadn't made any tabs before. So there's the third one. And because it's summer and we do this a lot, especially here, we go barefoot a lot and you're in and out of the water a lot. So you need just shoes you can slip on, slip off, go in the water, slip them back on. Uh, so there's there's sandals everywhere. They're in the living room. They're in the mud room. They're in the backyard. They're on the grass. They're by the dock. So I tried to do that. We had quite a few pair of sandals. It was put your best foot forward and I cut them all up so I could put flip-flops and sandals all over the place because that's a big part of summer here. Cherry bombs absolutely kept the recipe. You betcha. It's tucked right in here so I can always find it for the cherry lime gin ricky. More sandals, another tab. And isn't this just the best place to just make up a few cherry bombs and go sit out on the patio and sing with the birds. This is something I haven't done either. In this page, I just flipped it over because I liked it so much. I did not want to cut it off or use it. And I just thought it would be easy and fun to flip it over and see what I could make work with whatever was on the previous page. And I think it worked beautifully. More flip flops. We had a lot of words this time again, and that's okay. I said I only ended up not using two of them. And this one I did use. I only used part of it. So I did use the rest of this. I think it's your reason to smile. I just cut that your off. and So technically I used it, just not in its entirety. There were a lot of these big planters. Um, maybe used for background, perhaps. But I just thought they were so pretty. I didn't want to put stuff all over them, so I left them as intact as possible. I did the same in autumn. At the very end of autumn, I have these beautiful, and I was hoping that sometime over the next two seasons, I would find some things that would go, and I thought these might, but they were way too big, and I didn't want to cut them down. Plus, very fall, very fall, it didn't go with the summer. So after this is all done, this is our, it's free, we're free agents. We don't have to use the same images anymore. So when I'm looking at fall stuff, I'll be looking at things that I could fill this in with. Some different kind of maybe maybe florist tools to, to glue in around here. You know, the roses and white pumpkins. 
the makings of it to fill in around. I don't know, but I do want to fill this in. And there isn't anything in the summer stuff that will lend itself to that. So that so this will be an ongoing search. Studio session doesn't really go. It doesn't really tell much of a story other than maybe a florist who is quite a bit an artist to be able to put these things together so that the colors comb the color combinations work and the flow works. That's an art form and not everyone can do it so that it sort of fits. Here you can see the other side of those tabs that I made. Because sometimes you just want to cut shit up. Mm -hmm. I just cut, a, cut, and cut, and cut, and cut, and cut, and cut, and then glued them back together in different ways. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Because, again, sometimes cutting shit up is good therapy. <laughs> this is the windmill picture I cut out. I just wanted that beautiful skyscape. I, it's just so vibrant and wonderful. Home Sweet Rome, I love that. Home is where you make it. Home is where the dog is. Let me zoom in on the pupper. Home is where the dog is. Another RV engulfed in Discovery. And even though she's at a house, I want to think she's parked inside there. And this is the living room inside there. And she's engulfed in Discovery. She's listening to her music. She's got books on the table. A little cocktail. Look, there's sandals on the floor because it's summer. It's time for bare feet. Another one that I just really liked the way that it was. I didn't want to add much to it at all. There was some text here that I covered up. I may find something to cover up this text or not. I did throw a pair of sandals back there on the porch because, because. This is fun. Again, I loved all the strawberries and the white and the vibrancy of it. And I didn't want to cover it all up. So I cut it apart. I cut the, the text out of it, which is where she fits in with her little ice cream dress and her, her ice cream and happy mess in the summertime. You know, it's 100 degrees and you're eating ice cream. Before you get out of the ice cream shop, it's going to be a mess. Very fun page. I like that. I wanted all my lake stuff together. This was a picture of three of these dogs running on a farm, and it was very dull. And so I cut the dogs out and put them at the lake where it's cool and they can get a drink. More sandals. Life by the water. Always on lake time. Go jump in the lake. Doc's orders written in the water. I just course this is my favorite page oh and speaking of favorite I want you to guess in real time how much time doing these summer pages took so I have from here to here how many how much this took from not the harvesting but cutting them down and gluing them in I, I kept track of all of my time and I'm rounding it to the nearest next quarter hour so if it was an hour and 13 minutes i went to an hour and 15 minutes so to the quarter hour how much time do you think it took me to do these few pages from cutting them down trimming them up sorting them and gluing them the person who guesses the person who guesses right on or the nearest under will win a happy mail. So where were we? Another one that I just loved. I love seeing the, the vanilla chocolate, caramel more chocolate. I, I just loved seeing all of this. I didn't want to cover it up at all. There was something here, or maybe there wasn't. I just put that there to have some place to put it. Eat, drink, and yodel, because you don't see that very often. That was fun. Get your kicks around town. Go play. I, I left this so that we could read the whole thing. You could probably make it out, but I wanted to read the whole thing. So I put all my dogs together in fields of dreams, power players. Here's that third little dog that I cut out of the farm picture. Because it was all just dry, dusty ground. Now he's out playing in the fields of dreams with the other dogs. He's much happier. 
just some miscellaneous. I changed best foot forward and put best food forward. Because yum. Shore things are lakes and beaches. Yes, indeed. Where there are epic sights and they're even better at night. Oh, yeah. Nothing like the lake at night with all the stars and the moon. Instead of the sun, sunshine dancing on the water, it's the moonshine dancing on the water. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the sip of summer. So I put all my cocktails together. Kick off your shoes, put up your feet, and come join us for a sip of summer where sun meets the water. And in this case, the sunshine might be vodka. <laughs> I don't know. I kept the recipes for the Pims in three ways. It's a little fold out here. So it looks like everything else, but I can get that recipe if I want to. I've done that several places in this glue book. This was an ad. I wanted to emphasize the smiley face rather than the people, and so I just painted or markered in some eyes and it colored in a nose. And I did add some black to make the summer dreaming pop because it didn't really pop when I put it down. You could barely read what it said. You can barely read it now sometimes. <laughs> and there's the third back of the tabs. You can see all three tabs here. Savory Bites All Ears, and I started running out of things to use that would go. I, I think I want something bright yellow in here maybe, or more corn or something. So again, after the project is over, I will come in and fill in these white spaces, experience it differently. We all experience the seasons differently. But I just love this. Go in the backyard and get stuff for dinner. This is a vegetable basket with gloves and a snipper so you can go out and get everything you need for tonight's dinner salad and here's where we're going to have dinner and she's tasting the goodies and the bonfire is built and we're going to put flowers all around to make it a gorgeous evening to remember and these were the last lonely three things that I didn't find room for otherwise and they don't go together they they just summary that's the only connection they have so i may maybe fill in because now what's next is the digital images but there might be something digital from the digital collection that goes here and if you're not familiar the digital summer images are what amy and i have put together so that you can play along because not everybody can get these magazines they're a year old some of you may have them and can play along but most can't so we made up for each season digital images so that you can go get them at our patreon pages for free you don't have to be a patreon you don't have to, or a patreon member you don't have to be a patron they're just free you go there click the link and download it's that simple and then you use the same images that Amy and I are using and and also magic by the oceans Coralie is using them and the lovely Sylvia at Sylvia D is using them and the beautiful Christina at Christina's shack is using them to do seasons projects so please feel free go there to get them, download them, and use them up. And let Amy and I know by using the hashtag. If you do a video, you can also use the hashtag on Instagram. If you do some things using our same images, use the same images and use the hashtag using the same images so we can find you. We'd love to see what you're doing with them. So a couple things. Go get your summer digitals. They are free. I have four pages on my Patreon and Amy has five pages on her Patreon. She has four plus a bonus. I did four plus a bonus last time. It's it's just what we do. We just like to give away stuff. So those are all free. And don't forget, how much time did it take me to cut, trim, organize, and glue real time these 16, 17, 18 two page spreads? Go get your free digitals and how much time did it take me to do 18 double page spreads make sure to go over to amy's channel because she is doing her glue-a-thon and her flip through of the magazine images that we harvested together a little while back if you haven't seen the harvest video i will link that below as well 
Go love up your Beasleys. Have a wonderful crafty day. Don't forget to put your guesses in the bottom in the comments below this description. And we will see you soon for the summer digitals flip through glue fest thing. Because we sure have fun. Until we meet again, you take care. Mate at the lake. Out for now.